Hey guys, Jason Scooter Larry with CPP, and today I'm happy to announce we have three different brake kits that will fit 14 inch drum wheels, starting with our AFX series, our 59 through 64 Impala, and our 55 through 57 Chevy. All easy kits to put together, but I'm gonna show you today how to do the 55 to 57, because there's one critical thing on those. It's a little harder, but I'll get you through it. All right, so we're gonna do a quick dry run with our 55 to 57 Chevy brake kit here. We're not gonna assemble everything, just enough stuff here because we gotta do one modification to our steering arm, and that's only on this one kit. The other two kits, you do nothing but bolt them together, put them on your car, and get driving. So let's get going. So these are really easy to assemble, uh, and these are great for anyone that still wants to stick with that 14 inch wheel, drum or disc style. Okay, right now I'm just gonna put in one bolt on the steering arm because I wanna show you guys something. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and snug this stuff up. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the caliper on. No need for the rotor at this time. We don't need that on there for the simple modification we have to do with the steering arm. All right, so the modification we gotta do with the steering arm is if you look here, you can actually see it through here. Our hole is slightly off and the arm is crashing into the caliper. And this is a free floating caliper. As your pads wear, this caliper needs to slide in and out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat it in this area here, slightly bend it. And as you can see in there, we don't need to bend it much, but we do need to tweak it just a hair. But what we're gonna do is pull the caliper off. Then I'm gonna bolt the steering arm to the spindle so it's secure, heat it up, bend it that slight little bit, and then test fit the caliper again. Some of you may be worried about heating up your steering arm. It was made with heat, it was forged, not a big deal at all. So I realize a lot of people probably don't have an oxygen and settling tank at their house. Any muffler shop can do this for you too. You just gotta let them know how much to bend it. I'm just gonna use a crescent wrench. You can watch it bend. There you go. All right, so I went ahead and let the steering arm air cool, reassembled everything, check clearance, it looks really good. I also cycled back and forth the caliper because this is what it's gonna do with pad wear. Everything looks really good. So all that's left is I'm gonna pull the steering arm back off, put the fresh coat of paint on it, and while I'm at it, I'm gonna paint the spindle, reassemble everything from start to finish, and get ready to ship this thing off. All right, everything's all painted up. Time for final assembly, so let's get started. Get that going right now. Be sure you lock tight. Only the one bolt, only the 5 8 bolt. The rest of the stuff has lock washers on it. We don't use a washer on this side only because the back side of the rotor is very close to it and we don't want that spacing there. But we will put a washer, lock washer, nut on this side. All right. There we go. All right, so I opted out of packing the bearings myself and brought them over to our little buddy over there who has that nice little packing machine and voila. This is good, good grease right here. We're gonna go ahead and put the seal in. I just use a piece of wood. There's that. Go ahead and put our bearing spacer on there. Now we can put our rotor on there. That fits nice. Bearing, washer, that's indexed so it won't spin, nut. All right, we're gonna go ahead and tighten this up. We don't wanna over tighten it. That's very important, we do not do that. What I do is get it snug, turn the rotor, just make sure everything's good, make sure the bearings are all seated. That feels good, I back it off just a hair. Cotter pin, there we go. I like it. There you go. All right, we'll go ahead and put the dust cap on. That looks good. All right. All right, last step is to get the caliper on there. Just like so. Put our bolts in there. Bottom one. Just tighten those up. Again, I'm gonna double check that clearance down here. It looks really good. Perfect. So let's talk about the caliper real quick. It is a rider left because there is a bleeder screw on the bottom and top. 
and we have centered where the brake hose goes. Now this unique, nice shape here, it's very low profile. Even the profile here is up against the rotor. This is why you're able to put that 14 inch drum wheel on there. And one thing I really like about it is the size of the piston that's in here. It is big, great for clamping pressure. Um, get you stopped in a second. And that's why I recommend this package for your 14 inch wheels. All three of these brake kits, if you buy a spindle and a steering arm, they'll come assembled and ready to be installed. So when you're ready to upgrade your classic, give us a call or visit classicperform.com.